abortion uh, or in case of miscarriage or deliberate abortion due to medical uh, justifiable reason. What happened to the bleeding afterward? If the baby is formed, if the baby is formed and you can recognize hands, head, nose and, and fingers and toes, so the bleeding afterward will be treated similar to the bleeding whenever the woman gives birth, the postpartum bleeding. Which means this is similar to the menses. It's maximum according to the vast majority of the scholars, 40 days. And what is beyond 40 days should be treated as irregular bleeding unless if that coincide her regular monthly period. Yani let's say that she finished her post delivery bleeding on Thursday. And this Thursday happens to coincide her regular monthly period before she got pregnant. So she would allow another six, seven days or whatever number of days that she used to experience the bleeding normally uh, before the pregnancy. But if the, uh, you know, the baby was not formed, like you, know, you just said that eight months or nine months, so it's like a piece of uh, blood clot, then the bleeding after that miscarriage is perceived as an irregular bleeding which means soon after the operation, you perform ghusl, if you're capable of course, and offer the prayer on regular basis. And whatever you miss, you make it up. Maybe you're tired because you're fatigued after the operation, but you still have to pray even on bed. Why? Because this bleeding is not the menses. This bleeding is a bleeding of, you know, uh, the sickness or the post-operation. It is not similar to a nefas or the post-delivery bleeding.